uh, good afternoon everyone so i welcome every one of you today for this uh, session with the uh, gomel state medical university actually i would like to welcome every one of you dear students uh, dear parents and especially our guests from the university and also from our uh, red campus branch in belarus and students are still joining so anyway we will start we will continue the session and uh, first of all i would like to welcome uh, mr alexander sergevich head of international department of gomel state medical university for participating in the session and talking to our students and also i would like to uh, welcome mr dimitri kovlev and mr sergey from red campus branch in belarus for participating in the event and all the other uh, students and parents so today you will be able to get uh, all the details required for your dream your doctor dream how to make it come true how to enroll in a world recognized medical university and also what are the requirements and what is the admission process and also you will be able to get to know about uh, this university as well so being the university it is a world recognized uh, university which is in belarus as you all already know about the university and uh, also for a very affordable cost for the lowest fee that you can start your education in this university and not only that we can say Rec Campus is the pioneer in foreign education in Sri Lanka and we have been sending students to these universities for many years and also we are the only institution that sends the maximum number of Sri Lankan students to Gomel State Medical University and I make this opportunity to thank uh, Mr Alexander for his assistance for friendly assistance all the time uh for our students our Sri Lankan students uh in Belarus so without taking much of my time i would like to give this opportunity to uh Mr Alexander uh, Sergevich head of international department of Gomel State Medical University to talk to our students Uh, thank you, thank you, ma'am, for your kind words. So we really appreciate your support in uh, our mutual enterprise. I would also like to welcome all the students who are now joining this uh, conference, and I hope to give you the overview of our university, and I hope to answer all the questions that might arise during the. this conference or maybe you have these questions uh, prepared before uh, i am ready to help i am ready to guide and i am really looking forward to meeting you uh, in our university and help you to become future doctors so without much ado i'd like to share a little presentation that i prepared with you and i hope you will confirm that you can see this presentation on the screen right now yes we can see Yes, we can say thank you. Just a moment. Okay, so we'll start. So this is the main building of our um, university, Gomel State Medical University. This is the youngest university in Belarus. It was founded in 1990. So it means that practically all the equipment, all the classes, and everything that we have is a brand new, and we continue to do uh, so as we started long time um, before. Our university is um, already recognized and it is situated in the very center of Europe in Belarus. Uh it is uh, the country which is considered to be the safest country in Europe. As the safest rating is the best in Europe. And also you can see the doctor patient ra ratio is 1 to 244. It means that 244 uh citizens have one doctor and if you compare it to the USA and UK you see that we have a better ratio so we have more doctors uh in compared to the population size of our countries than some of the most developed countries in the world so and uh our university uh through this history has reached uh, and achieved a lot of goals and a lot of uh um achievements that we have already done and um first of all our university is globally recognized uh we are a state university we have a government license 
uh, from uh, our uh, governments that we have to uh, confirm every five years. Also, we have the recognition of all the medical councils uh, in, uh, that we are working with, starting from Pakistani, Maldivian, also Sri Lankan Medical Council. And uh, they, it is recognized in Australia Medical Council and in uh, America. So you can see these uh, logos of the recognition systems that we have already got. So we have seen the Sri Lankan Medical Council. We have a very close connection to them. And uh, recently we prolonged our um, registration there for uh, accreditation there for another uh, five years. So our graduates have absolutely no problems with uh, confirming our uh, diplomas. Also, we are recognized by ECFMG. It is an American um, confirmation um, body. And every two weeks, I received requests from ECFMG to approve this or that uh, diploma that we have. So it means that our graduates, they work all over the world, starting from their native countries and finishing the USA and Great Britain and Australia. And every two weeks, we confirm and we approve the diplomas uh, sent, uh, sent by the ECFMG. And recently, in um, uh, 2021, uh, uh, we received the uh, accreditation by the Independent Agency of Accreditation and uh, Rating. It is recognized by the World Federation of Medical Education. So this uh, accreditation basically gives us the right to approve all our diplomas all over the world. So right now, after that, we are officially recognized all over the world. Why is that? What do we offer so unique that uh, it is globally recognized? First of all, it is our principle of education. It is how we teach and treat every student. And the main principle of our education is English-based education, starting from the foundation course and finishing postgraduate degrees. For the whole years, it is only English-based and nothing else. We do not uh, implore any other languages in our um, curriculum, except, of course, for Russian language studies, because sometimes you have to deal, because you live in the country and you have to know some of the local language. But all of the studies, all of the medical terms and medical subjects, they are done specifically and uniquely in English language. And second principle that we implement is that we start practice practical classes and develop practical skills starting year one. From year one, our students go to different kind of simulation center that we have here in the, the very same buildings that you saw on the first slide, where they can practice their skills of being a doctor. We, really, we uh, offered no online education ever, even during the COVID pandemics, we didn't offer online education. As you know, the doctor needs to have practical skills. It is impossible to get practical skills during online um, education. And that is why we never did it and we will never do it. So practical skills that we students obtain starting from year uh, one, uh, they are done in our simulation center that is equipped with the high tech um, equipment. Uh, when it was first launched, we put in about $6 million. And through the consequent years, we put in more than three and a half million dollars to continue this uh, development. So students, as you see on these pictures, they uh, practice their skills uh, there on the spot before going to hospital. They can do starting from surgery, obstetrics, different kinds of uh, uh, ultrasound diagnostics and so on. And another principle that we strongly implement is the small number of groups. Uh, recently, we received a delegation from China. They were here yesterday. And I asked them, how many students are there in the Chinese universities in the groups? And they say, more than 100 students in a group. And we were shocked because basically we cannot understand how you can teach students if there are 100 people in a group. Our groups... The medium size of the group is 10. You can look at these pictures. 
These are actual pictures done during the classes, uh, and you see the small number of people there. It is really small number of people. Uh, medium size is 10, and maximum size is 13. This approach allows us to give individual uh, attention to every student. We can individually review and give feedback on their tasks and skills that they observe here. Also, students, they have um, practice not only in our simulation center, that you can see now on the screen, but since year three, they go to hospitals. They go to hospitals that are affiliated with the university, and they do medical training there in close contact with the patient. Um, after training and practical skills uh, in the simulation center, they can do and uh, obtain it further. And uh, um, starting since year three, they are in close contact with the patient himself, with the supervision of real doctors. And our doctors, they do both. They study at, uh, they give lectures to our university and they practice their uh, medical skills in hospitals. So our doctors are practitioners. Here you can see some of the delegates received through our, uh, in our universities, and uh, there is a uh, lovely ambassador of Sri Lanka. She visited our university twice uh, uh, this year, I think, if I'm not mistaken. We have one of the biggest number of Sri Lankan students at the university. We have a very close contact with the embassy. We have a very long cons uh, contact with the consular office, and we uh, provide all the necessary um, equipment and facilities we can get for our students. So, um, this combination of practical skills, of English-based education and, and individual approach to every student allows us to gain world recognition, allows us to be one of the best universities in the world. And we would really like to welcome you here in our universities. We have been teaching uh, uh, medical uh, specialities to Sri Lankan students for many, many years. We know the country very well. We know the people. We know the students. We know that they have individual needs. We know that they have unique culture. And that's why we appreciate this unique kind of culture. Uh, our administration takes part in the celebration of Sri Lankan holidays, for example, Diwali. Even the rector visited this uh, holiday to, to participate with uh, this. We see no discrimination, you see no racial conflicts in our country and in our university. It is absolutely not out of the questions here. It is a safe country where we treat every student individually. So, we would really like to welcome you here. We would really like to uh, help you to fulfill your dream to become a doctor, to become a professional. So if you want to become a professional, world-recognized doctor, this is the place where you can achieve it. And our task will be to help you. So thank you for your attention, and I hope to answer the questions that may arise during the end of the, uh, this seminar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for your nice presentation. It was very descriptive and I hope that almost all the students got all the details and we have a Q&A session at the end of the uh, webinar. So and meanwhile, I uh, welcome all the students. If you have any question, please feel free to uh, type it under Q&A and we will be able to uh, answer all your questions there. And next, I would like to invite uh, our colleagues from REC Campus branch in Belarus, uh, Mr. Dimitri Kovlev and also Mr. Sergey, to speak to you all. Yeah. Uh, hello, students. Hello, our students, uh, dear students. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mr. Sergey, uh, and uh, this is uh, Mr. Dimitri, uh, director of uh, REC Campus uh, of the Republic of Belarus. 
Um, we are representatives uh, of the Re campus in the Republic of Belarus. I would like to tell you about our work uh, and assistance to students who come to, uh, to the Republic of Belarus uh, to receive a quality medical education. Uh, our REC team, led by Dr. Lasanta, will take uh, all necessary measures uh, for your com comfortable and uh, safe arrival in the Republic of Belarus. Uh, Mr. Dimitri and I will meet you at uh, the airport upon arrival uh, and food and water will be organized for you. And uh, all six years uh, of your study, our team will help you in solving various issues. Our company also organizes various sports events in the Republic of Belarus. Uh, when you arrive in, in uh, Belarus, we will help you with the submission of necessary documents to university, uh, pacing the medical examination and, uh, and other things. Upon arrival, uh, you will be uh, checked um, into the hostel. Our students really appreciate uh, the kindness and family warmth uh, that we will give them. Uh, yes, that's right. You uh, find yourself in a big family that will take care of you. Thank, uh, thank also to everyone who attended this webinar. You won't get chosen track. Our REC team, led by Dr. Lasanta, will take care of you like your own children. Your dream of being a doctor will become true. We are waiting for you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for both of you for participating and talking for our students. Now let's uh, listen to a student who are already studying there in Goma State uh, Medical University. I would like to invite Mr. Bhavanta Ashain, a uh, first year student of Goma State Medical University to share his experiences uh, with our students. My name is Bhavanta Ashain. I'm currently working in, uh, studying in Goma State Medical University first year. Uh, when I was like came to Belarus, the full support was given by Red Campus. Uh, if like all the students in this meeting, I think single is most of them. Like then I was like to continue my story like in English because like my mother tongue was single and I think the all the person can understand properly when I was speaking in single. Uh Nama Bhavanta Shin, Mama Hedave. Rick Campus Igara. Mama then made Gomez State Medical University. Okay, Palam was a shake with the Magia Dinaka. It's the Rinava. Ethogota then Mama Mavila, Ugland, Samban, the Vinny Pari, the Gene to Tower Putaking, may Maga Unigram may unknown my classes, but I know. Mama Salama, Maga A level, higher education level, Ivaraka Liberabella. Uh, Mama Ave Rick Campus Segata. It is a thing, Mama Vinat Agency Gadagia, Campus Segata, you know, make an Amasan Hunter and Petu Pomitro Oden Hagina. Giagin Passe, Samaning Api, Lanka Vin, Lanka Vin, Saman Minisuji to a table. Ape, why the Udjis and Havinatraka, the Aponegatives and Han Yuta Vinu Buddha, Mulika Vashin. Uh, on the uni university got Tora Gan Kudasaha, Isanha at twelve winner, uh, campus got Tora Gan Kuda, and Hitano Balan, one of Mulika Karna, Hipak Din. Ekatamai, Palavinika, Mamma Hitan, Mamitra Mahena, Logula, uh, Tamangi, Timopiangi Saha, Tamangi Pauli Dina, Shakitavi, Sadaha, Kupumana Brahmana, Mulla, Mulla, Timakin, the Kran Guangira. Palavini Karna, Mama Vinat Agency, take some band the Venukuda Matari Chari at Tamai, Maki Gitarata, Samaki Pauli Aita, Darana Puluan Sima Sahita, Toragana Puluan, Pondam, Maki Mateanu, Toragana Pulam, Pondama than Tamai, Rek Kaitane, Buka the Mama Gudak Tangula de Gihi, Gudak Katia Tika Katarana, Tina Vak in Samba. It would a Mama Hitana, Anit Aitana take a Sapeksha, Balana Kutta, Rek Kaitane, Tamas Adar Mudulagata. Egolangs, <laughs> 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 <laughs
जनता प्रयोजन यूनिवर्सिटी पलवी हॉस्टल मगेजेंसीमान मारे थैंक <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much, Mr. Bhavan, for sharing your ideas with us, and we wish you all the best. And I we hope uh, that you will be a medical professional, a recognized medical professional serving our nation. And it's really proud that you are a, a member of our Red Campus family. So good luck, Bhavan. Thank, thank you for participating today's session. Next, I would like to invite Ms. Tajit Kulatunga, the Chief Administrative Officer and also the Senior Educational Consultant to talk to you all. सुबह दर्शन के बाद दोपहर दिन आवर करेक्टर और आवर कलीग्स मिस्टर जीमित्रे और मिस्टर सर्गी आई थिंक अभी बहुत हम सातुत्व ने वह आदत आवश्य गवर्नमेंट स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी के समग्र संबंध वेला उगलों ने आवश्यक न दयनुम दायाबर दिमाग पियां ने वह जो आदरणीय दरुवां ने मैं आवस्था भी सहबागी लाइन ने दानवत कराना टा आवस्था वाला बाद यूं भी लिया दोगे ये वक्त में विशेष रूप से क्या नॉन गवर्नमेंट स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी क्या ने अतः दानवत तो ये ना वियदम फैटिंग साधार नहीं करने या कपी दही दारुवान टा लाभ देने होंडे में विश्वविद्यालय की वो निवेदी मुकदर विश्वविद्यालय 
अध्यापनिक वागे उर्ती या अवस्था वा ताहुरु करना वे भी नहीं काटने का बोलते हैं मैं वट सहाबाग भी लाता हूँ बदानु आते हैं इधर नापे दारु ओबटे इधर ये दिखाता कराए मैं विस्तर लाभ आते हैं विश्वविद्यालय जीविते को हम अध दावित इन पहासु कम मनवाद ऐसा कुछ आधा दिन ही ओगलांग में दानुवत करा नहीं आए रहें दारुए कुहों में दे ही जीवन तें दें सामारा ही तान पुलवा में का सीता रटा कुहों में दे सीता काले दी इगेने करने ये वाके सामारा ही तीनों आ कुतुहाला ये कुतुहाला में तो नहीं युवत तें डोरे मगर में अपे दारु में ही गिहिला हों दिन निगेने के ने अपे रटा टाइम इला अपे रटे वाइद सब हाँ विभागीय रेक कैंपस आए थे ने हम अपने तक कितना सहायोग के लाभ आते ना मुख्यतः ईआरपीएम विभागीय आवश्यक न पारम माला वाक्सा कस्कल दिए हो इतने दरवान किसी में बायक पैन दिया क्या है ऑस्ट्रेलियन मेडिकल काउंसिल एक्साम में के आवश्यक न सीरो दे सा पहले दिए हो ऐसा वृत्ति में आवश्यकता है इलान का प्लेब रेक कैंपस तुलना इन अब बट लाभिनो इतनी मामा आराधना करनो ओगलन टा आपे रेक कैंपस समग्र आपे विश्वास नहीं सेवे अब बट लाभ गंडे है क्यों ना इतनी अब बट आपिंग विस्तर गंडा वाशन है ऐतरे में आपिंग किया दारुंग के लिए विस्तर गंडो ने इतनी आदमी सामान्य रहे तुला अब बट आपे दारु लाभला दे हे अध्यापनी का पासु भी में ओन डेलेबे ने पास कम रेक कैंपस के सेवा माना वो ओगलंग दानवत करा भी इतनी आप ही तो ओनी ओबो दानवत करना ओबो के अध्यापनी का सही नहीं यातार दे इली धक्कान इतनी एक अट रेक कैंपस वैनी आप आए तने सम्मान सम्मान दे वेला ओबो के अवस्था उदाहर गांड के ला मामा आराधना कर इधर मैं हम देख में पुरोगामी मेहवर वाइद लसंता मर कौन मैथी तुम्हां अपे में श्रीलाम की के केवल गेम रुसियानु वाइद उपाधि आ रही इधर ये तुम्हांगे तीन प्रवीणता विदेश आध्यापने प्रवीणता व तुला ओबट लेबने में महंगो अवस्था आवें ऊपर में प्रयोजन एक गंडा पे आराधना करना फेब्रुअरी इंटेक का तीन रिसा में एक ओबट फेब्रुअरी रिविस्से टे इससे ला यान्ना पुलवान ये वाके में आओ में सेवा का स्वत तीन रिसा ओबगे पीरीवाय साधार नहीं करने आख uh, right, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ajitpulahunga. Now I would like to invite uh, a senior student. Actually, I must mention that uh, he's not only a student, he's the president of Sri Lankan Student uh, Association in uh, Belarus, in this university, Gomel State Medical University. And also he's a final year student. I would like to invite uh, Mr. Damidu Lianarachi to share your experiences with us. Okay. Okay. So, um, wish you all a very good afternoon. Uh, my name is, I think it'll be better if I introduce myself. Uh, my name is Damidu Lianarachi and um, I'm a final year student here in Gomez State Medical University and uh, I'm the president of uh, Sri Lankan Students Association in uh, Gomel. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Dr. Lasanta and the Russian Educational Center for giving me this opportunity to speak a few words uh, on behalf of uh, our university. Um, well, I thought of... Uh, speaking to you in two aspects, the, the student life and also the academic aspects. Um, I think it will be better if we start with the academic aspects because uh, that is why people are um, trying to get into this university. And I think I'm pretty sure that most of you have uh, sort of searched and done your research uh, prior to this webinar. So I'll be adding a few things uh, which I have uh, personally experienced. Um, it's actually... Uh, um, if we start from the um, very basic uh, things, um, usually it's a six-year degree program. So for the first three years, um, we will be uh, studying the theory-based uh, subjects. And from fourth year onwards, you guys will have the clinical exposure and uh, the practical know-how about the stuff which you have learned uh, for your you know, previous uh, three years. And um, the curriculum is being carried out in English medium completely. And uh, apart from uh, that, 
usually you will have subjects like uh, Russian language subjects so that you know you'll be much more exposed and you'll get a proper exposure of the language so that you, you can uh, sort of uh, you know get into the system here and um, afterwards uh, as uh, uh, Ajit Ankal mentioned before you can do your internship here which is also recognized in uh, many countries um, and uh, uh, Speaking of uh, the academic support, which the university support, uh, supplies us, they will supply us with the books and everything. You'll have a library, uh, which um, will supply you all the clinical, specifically the international books, uh, international curriculum, which, which you need to know uh, as you go along your pathway in medicine. And uh, the teachers here are very friendly. They will uh, support you any way possible. And um, also your peer groups, you'll be, divided into groups once you come here, maximum maybe 10 students, 10 to 12 students in one group, and you will be paid uh, in individual attention. Um, I apologize for any noise which has been heard because I'm in front of the hospital right now. Um, and you'll be paid the individual attention and everything and uh, the, the clinical exposure and everything. Um, the staff is uh, actually very capable doctors. Uh, most of them are professors. Uh, in their own uh, subjects and you can get the maximum benefit out of it. Um, I think uh, that is one of the main reasons why you should choose uh, Gomez State Medical University if you, are, uh, if you want to give value to the money that you are about to spend. Um, so that is basically about uh, the academic uh, uh, scenario here in Gomez State Medical University. So I'll just um, discuss a few things about uh, the student life and everything. So once you come here, um, you will be taken care of by the seniors. Uh, you will be uh, supported each and every way possible. You'll be uh, administered to the hostels here. In uh, We actually have three hostels here. So uh, I think there's a fourth hostel, which is about to be added because a lot of students are coming to Gomil now. Um, so uh, once you come here, uh, the transportation and everything will be supplied from Minsk to Gomil. So, because I know this, because uh, Dima and Sergey will be there to welcome you at the airport, and um, uh, your lunch, dinner, and everything uh, will be supplied for the first couple of days until you get uh, used to the situation here. Um, and uh, we will be supporting you with, uh, you know, buying your winter clothes, winter shoes, uh, books, and everything. So we have a good set of seniors here. I have a good board of uh, seniors here in my association. So everyone will help you once you come here. Um, so for each and every aspect, we have uh, a particular uh, vice president appointed. For example, for education, there's a vice president for sports, for cultural events, so those kind of things. Uh, there are specific vice presidents uh, under, uh, under us in the association. So all those things are well planned. So I will give you a couple of uh, examples of uh, the student life here. So uh, in the past couple of months, actually the past semester, we had... Uh, uh, a various number of uh, new uh, additions to um, our general curriculum. For example, we organized a volleyball tournament, we organized a chess tournament, uh, we organized a New Year celebration party, uh, we organized a Christmas party. So, um, and the next semester onwards, also we have a number of things planned uh, because we know that uh, academics are not the only things which should be in a student's life. So, we try to balance them as much as possible. I, I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy once you come here um, and also um, I think uh, for each and every uh, event which we organize here the Russian Educational Center has funded us has supported us in both monetary aspects and also in guidance as well so I'm really thankful to them um, so uh, I guess that sort of sums up uh, the things which uh, you should know. So I think we have another couple of students uh, in this meeting, uh, a first year student who will explain you about the life uh, of first years uh, as juniors. And we also have another senior who will explain you certain aspects which I haven't. Um, so I hope that you choose Gomez State Medical University. Once you come here, everything will be taken care of and we will give you our full support. And uh, I would like to answer each, if uh, any of you have any questions. Um, you can contact me through my WhatsApp number or anything if you have any questions. And uh, hope to see you soon. And thank you very much. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Damdulirachi. So we are really happy to see you and we wish you all the best on behalf of REC Campus. And we wish you, you all the much. best and you are, uh, in the future, you will be able to work as a medical professional to the nation and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the opportunity. All right. So next, I would like to invite another student, uh, Ms. Dinetri uh, Chaivira, a student of the final year of the same university. So we'll see what she has got to say to our students. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Dinetri Chaivira. I'm a sixth year student, newly joined sixth year right now, because just as many of you guys here, I am from a February intake. I, I joined the February intake. Uh, so what is GSMU to me? It, it was a life change, actually. Um, it was, I changed my mind and I was um, almost ready uh, to do, do my uh, second shy in A-levels. And that's when I came across this REC and got to know about this. And then I thought I have to wait until September to get into this university because most of the intake signed uh, September. But then I got this great opportunity to get in within three weeks for a February intake and my parents did not make me, uh, didn't want me to delay any further. So I took the chance and Rick was so supportive because I was a last minute joiner. So they helped me arrange all the documents, including the air ticket and everything. They literally told us what to do uh, next step. And why it was so easy for my parents to uh, cooperate with their busy life schedule. So got my stuff done within three weeks and I came to Belarus and ever since then I'm so thankful because the welcome I had like leaving home for the first time I thought it's going to be hard but then uh, Dr. La Santa had arranged our seniors to prepare meals for us to pick us from the airport a bus ride to the hostel to help us carry our luggage it was so thoughtful these little things that other people don't think of it was very well organized and thought of and then I want to talk a little about the uh, university. Actually, Damidwaya mentioned almost everything, but like few things that uh, have uh, significantly a place in my heart is that our university staff, including the dean, rector, and the, um, the dean's office officials, are usually very friendly with us. Like it's, it's something that you don't find in, when you come to an abroad country, you feel so uh, apart from the university officials, you feel like you're, a, you're just another international student in this abroad university. But no, you can go to the dean and just talk to them freely about your problems. You can uh, email them financial problems or anything of that sort. Let's say, for an example, one of my friends got sick and Dean, including Dr. Lasanta, they individually paid attention on the child who got sick. They like sent notes. Likewise, they are very, uh, very friendly, very understanding about your situation. So it's very easy for us to communicate our problems with the staff and the dean's office officials. And then um, for an example about the university course fees, when the children mentioned about the crisis, about the university even allowed us to push back our fee deadline so such a friendly atmosphere we have here in Goma state medical university i'm sure you can't find it everywhere like in other universities abroad um so just like uh, damidoya mentioned i also really like this study method they have here which is they have divided students into groups uh, usually most of you all in a-level classes have attended huge group huge hall classes where you do Work sometimes it just doesn't even know you exist, but it's not here, it's not the same here in uh, Goma State Medical University. Students are divided into like 12 students each group where the teacher pays attention individually. Let's say you go for practicals, everybody gets a chance. Let's say you got assignment, teacher makes sure teacher makes sure that everybody did it. So your educational academic levels will be in a good level if you study here because you all get individual attention. And then about the um, practicals, I want to mention uh, the university has, a, has special equipped rooms in the main building for us to uh, practice laparoscopic examination and very high technological dummies, just like patients, for us to practice all sorts of practice skills which is really amazing it's it's like it's a real good opportunity for us to uh, practice before we get into real patients 
and then uh, most of the students who try who are to come here to belarus or whatsoever abroad countries they ask if we should bring textbooks because you know textbooks are huge and they take a lot of space in your luggage and we we are in a space issue when traveling so what i want to tell you is that in uh, gomel in the library you have textbooks uh, that are very helpful for you to answer exams here in belarus especially in these universities so you have to refer information from the textbooks from the library and there's no need of carrying huge textbooks from sri lanka you can have enough books from here in the library and then uh, mentioning about the hostel life which is i uh, personally i live in a hostel provided by the university it's pretty affordable compared to the private apartments living outside when my parents are surprised sometimes for the price comparison of private apartments and the hostels provided from the university it's very affordable for the facilities that they give us so also these hostels are close by to supermarkets pharmacies walking distance to the bus stop for the morning bus to go to university likewise it's all in a very friendly area and also living in the hostel you meet a lot of international friends sri lankans are all together but like in in those three uh, hostels like namidoya mentioned but you meet indians other cultures you share your cultures with them you get to attend to their um, religious festivals cultural things it's beautiful it's like a phase that you would forget uh, rather than being in sri lanka like a few years of a big change in your life you get to try new things try new food it's it's really amazing i love living here in the hostel because it has taught me so many things and also uh something i cannot stay without mentioning about gomel is the sri lankan association here which has helped me so much on my sad days on my happy days uh all because um let's say of course you come here to get your md degree to get, become a good doctor but then it's very hard to focus only on academics every day you get you get you get bored you need a small break we have the sri lankan association for that because there is always an event just like damidaya mentioned he has been an amazing president all throughout he has been adding new events for the usual so likewise um we have had if you if you're interested in sports there's volleyball there's cricket there's chess and then there's soon to be a netball uh, tournament so likewise if you're interested in aesthetic things there are there's a singhala and tamil urdu uh, and then there's cultural events uh, new years programs where students can showcase their talents like dancing and singing uh, so you will never get bored while living in gomel because i personally always look up to the next upcoming event while while doing my studies i'm like okay what's the next event when do we get prepared for that what do we what should we do from our side likewise i'm always excited uh so association has never failed me that in that way um to keeping us uh, busy from and like to miss home during christmas or urdu to feel like oh i'm missing all the traditions but no the association got you so that's uh, i'm really thankful for that and uh, rec i must specifically mention that rec has been the reason why we get to celebrate all of these events because they sponsor us they support us they are like our support system from all the way from sri lanka so none of these would have been possible if they are uh, not being supportive as they are right now because um, let's say like for sports events we want some equipment there that to uh, supply so likewise it's it's really important it has been really important for students here while balancing uh, educational things and also other than that i want to specifically mention dr lasanthas personal uh, attendance into this university matters such as covid vaccination days days that our parents were really worried thinking about the lockdown thinking about the russia ukraine uh, situation parents had so many questions dr lasantha and the rec team was patiently they were always ready to answer our parents calls our answers they even have separate group chats on whatsapp for gomel parents grodno parents such as so yeah if our parents have any doubts they directly ask and dr lasanta replies to them so rec wasn't just a, a agency that we used to get in here to get our medical degree it was just with us 
all throughout especially being in the 60 i'm saying 60 i'm saying that um, each year some crisis or some problem i knew i could count on greg because let's say i wanted my passport from sri lanka after renewal they got me likewise they have all the support and in whatsoever the way they can it's more than an agency so all in all just not after uh, just not until graduating but after graduating you might have so many problems whether to do erpm or to do plab amc what's your post graduate plan don't worry rec has rec will always they have and they will always keep organizing awareness programs about what you can do after graduating so therefore people have a plan since first year they have a goal they are to work for what to work for so and also just not awareness programs let's say you have uh, chosen a pathway like plab boy mc or whatsoever exam they have preparatory programs for them where you can get educated get the material so it's really amazing it's, it's not just an agency that sends uh, students abroad uh for their md degree but something so much more and i'm really grateful i came to gomel state medical university through rec and it's going to be a very remarkable time of my life and thank you for the opportunity uh of sharing letting me share my thoughts because i knew how important it was to hear from a senior up ki or i am before coming about these little details so i i would love to share my thoughts help anybody who wants to know so just like gami bhai i said i'm also ready if anybody has questions contact me i can help you guys with anything you all want to know before coming to belarus thank you so much thank you so much rusin etrik for your wonderful speech and uh, it was really amazing to talk uh, to listen to you and uh, we wish you all the best on behalf of rec campus to thank have so a much. successful journey ahead Thank you. So now it's time to answer all your questions. So free, please feel free to uh, type it under chat or Q and A. And uh, there are some questions asked um, from by the students, and also I would like to invite Mr. Alexander uh, Sergeyevich also to answer these questions. So. Um, the first question that they were asking about the recognition of the uh, this university so is this university recognized uh, by sri lanka medical council obviously yes and what about the other uh, recognitions that the university has got Mm. Uh, as I already mentioned in my presentation, we have recognition not only in Sri Lanka Medical Council, but also in Indian Medical Council, Pakistani Medical Council, uh, USA, uh, Australia, and uh, many other councils around the world. So it is globally recognized. But our main uh, recognition system is the World Health Organization. and uh, our recognition system uh, the, that we received in 2021 is the uh, independent world association of medical education so it immediately gave us recognition all over the world so now we are global university so don't worry all your diplomas will be verified in all countries that you would like to pursue your academic uh, your career perfect and also the next question is the a level results to enroll so according to the sri lankan medical council the students should get c uh, credit passes and one simple pass to get their slmc registration and what is the minimum requirement of the university if there are students even some students may get less than that so what's the university uh, requirement uh, as the a levels Uh, the university as we got uh, sri lanka medical council approved we strictly follow the requirements of medical council so it should fully correspond to the requirements of the medical council of sri lanka if the student got uh, lower mark so we can offer him to study in our foundation course and then uh, offer him continuation in our uh, mbbs program judging on his results at the foundation program or kindly asking him to retake them in sri lanka it depends on individually on the uh, every student all right 
So uh, another question was the visa success rate. So if I must say, uh, almost all the students, we get the visa. So there is no issue with the visa uh, process because almost all the students, they get visa because the, your purpose is study and there's no problem with the visa process and uh, the intakes and um, the course fee there's another question asking uh, from a, a student what are the possible intakes and the course fee uh, so first let's talk about the intake we have generally two intakes in february and in september for february intake we received a spe special permission from the ministry of education of the republic of belarus so if you really want to pursue February intake, you have to be very fast about that and submit your documents to REC as soon as possible, because uh, we have to submit your invitation to immigration office and the deadline for that is the 1st of February. So you have to do it as soon as possible. And uh, your arrival date should not be late than the 20th of February for the studies to start. And for uh, September intake, you have more time. Of course, if you don't want to waste it, I suggest you take a um, February intake. Uh, as for the course fee structure, the uh, first every student receives our fee structure letter where we specifically enumerate all your expenses. But for the tuition fee, it is $4,470 a year. It is the lowest price in Europe, I think. But it is not as low as for Belarus. That's why we, we can offer a competitive price uh, on a world uh, market. And But we offer students uh, payment in installments. So students can pay in two installments. There is no need to pay for the whole, for the whole year at once if it is financially difficult for you. Also, as one of our students already mentioned, uh, we live in a very unstable economical environment and we know the tragedy that was in Sri Lanka and there were problems with money transferring for our students during the economical crisis and university supported the student and we offered them uh, postponing uh, of the payments uh, on the contract and we, uh, uh, only some of the Belarusian universities did that. Uh, other universities and all over the world, they didn't provide it, they didn't help. But we uh, implement the individual approach to our students, and that's why we offered them to do it. All right. So the other question was the pathways after completing the degree and whether we can migrate with this degree. So if I uh, give an answer for that, REC campus provide these pathways here through us as well, especially if you want to try and settle in Australia or in other countries, we help you with that pathway because the university, this degree from uh, Ghana State Medical University, this is very recognized all over the world. So wherever either not only Australia Australia or UK or Canada, any other country, you can migrate with this degree. So REC campus help you with that as well. So there is no issue. We conduct AMC classes if you want to uh, work as a doctor in Australia. So AMC pathway is also another option. And um, also another thing uh, they are asking about the course fees for the foundation and the uh, ability to apply for the foundation. Uh, the uh, time for the foundation course to apply is uh, before October, before we um, take our groups uh, uh, and organize our groups before October. And uh, the price for foundation course for nine months is $2,460. $2,460. It is for one year course. No, it is nine months if we exclude. Include, uh, holiday time and it is done fully in English. Perfect. Uh, and also, we can say um, about the payment methods whether they have whether they can pay by semesters. How about the payments uh, for the university? Uh, can you please repeat? Well, what do you mean by the payment for the uh, university? Yeah, so the course fee, the first year course fee, can they pay uh, as two uh, installments, like for semesters, for two? 
Okay. Yeah, that yes. is possible. Okay, so that's perfect. So it means the students no need to pay the first year course fee at once that they can pay uh, in two installments like semester wise. There are two semesters uh, per year. So you can pay uh, the annual course fee as uh, two semesters. Wonderful. And uh, also there are, um, okay, so others, other questions already we have answered. And uh, they're asking about the ERPM exam as well. So we help you with that. Rec Campus help you uh, with these um, uh, exams as well. So still, if you have any question, please uh, feel free to type it on the chat. And also, we will um, give you uh, our hotline number where you can uh, just give a call and answer from one of our consultants. So uh, accommodations, uh, there is another question asking uh, Mr. Alexander about the accommodation. So uh, how about the accommodation and how about the hostels and the hostel fees? Mm -hmm. Okay, the accommodations. University provides accommodation in hostels for all the students who arrive, without exception. It is the rule of the university and it is the law of our country. If we invite international students to our country, we are obliged to provide them with a hostel. We try uh, to give Sri Lankan students the hostel where they can live in one group for the so uh, social and cult cultural diversity. It is one thing, but uh, especially for the first year students, they, this transition to the another culture should be uh, gradual. Uh, about the prices for the hostel, it uh, is regulated by our law, so it is not fixed. It depends on how much gas, electricity and water the hostel uses during the month. So in winter it goes slightly up because there is a heating system. In summer it goes slightly down because you don't need heating. Uh, in general, the average price for the hostel is $50 a month. $50, $50 a month. Average, it's like that. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Alexander. So I hope uh, we uh, answered almost all the questions. So still, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, give a call to one of our consultants. Our hotline number is not 711-101010. So anyway, it's there in our website and in our Facebook pages as well. So uh, before end the session, I would like to thank every one of you, dear students, dear parents, for participating in the session. And especially, I must thank Mr. Alexander Sergeyevich, uh, the head of international department of government state medical university to, for taking your time for participating in this wonderful session and giving a nice presentation and all the information to our students and thank you so much minister alexander for your support uh, on this session and also uh, i would like to thank mr dimitri and mr sergey for participating in the session and it's really nice talking to you and listening to your speeches and also uh, our students the finally they have two final year students and one uh, first year student. I must thank them as well, Mr. Damidu and also Miss um, uh, Dinetri and Mr. Bhavanta. I thank them as well on this occasion uh, for talking to our uh, audience and making this session end. Thank you all once again and uh, see you soon. And all the students, I must say, this is the correct place. This is the correct decision that you are going to take to your uh, life, to your future, that which uh, makes your dream come true. That uh, means that you can be a professional in the medical field, uh, not only working in Sri Lanka, but in any part of the world by getting this recognized degree from Gomel State Medical University. So we welcome every one of you to Gomel State Medical University and make your dream come true. Thank you so much once again to see you all thank you thank you students we will welcome you at the university i hope thank you goodbye